In this example, we have a tricky superelevation problem to solve. Um, in our case here, we have a divided roadway that is rotating about the center line, except that we want to maintain a high side rollover lock between our shoulder and our pavement section of 10%. Now, normally with a rollover lock, that's no problem. What we do is to maintain our 10% difference there, we'll assign a superelevation control to our point out here that'll rotate about our edge of pavement. However, in this case, our point here that we would normally assign a rollover lock to is actually the center line control, so it needs to be following the vertical alignment. So we can't assign a super elevation control to that point in this case. So we're going to have to do some other workflow to control the rollover percentages on our inside shoulders. So to build the super for this section, I'm going to go to the modeler and roadway designer. Let's take a look at our template here. I've created a very simple template to illustrate the problem. And we're going to be focusing on the right side again. So what I have here is an inside edge of pavement, center line of my travel way, outside edge of pavement, and my outside shoulder. Um, I have a point in here called EB, which is going to just the edge of that barrier there that's offset from the center line a little bit. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually um, supering these points here about the inside and then we're going to go back and create a super control for our inside edge of pavement there. So to do that we're going to come in and switch over to our display super elevation view. We're going to go through the Ashto wizard just to get some super out there. Um, our max super rate is a 7.6 percent like it showed in our typical section and we're going to create a right side section first. Again my crown point is going to be that inside point um, right here, the IP point. My left range, again, is going to be that same inside edge of pavement. And my right range point is going to be my outside edge of pavement, OP. And I'm going to rotate about the inside uh, point there. So we'll say OK. We'll go and go ahead and let it uh, calculate our super for that. Now when we step through, uh, we can see that it's supering, and it is supering on the low side. It's rotating about that inside, not necessarily the center line, but that inside point. And then when we go into a high side super, it's going to, again, it's going to rotate about that inside. So now what we need actually is a super control for inside edge of pavement that will move it up and down. Um, to maintain the rollover between the inside and the travel way there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the uh, apply shoulder rollover locks to create a rollover um, super control for me and then I'm going to switch it around a little bit and apply it to this point. What I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to calculate inside rollover on my EB point here um, just so that I can have the program calculate the stations and the slopes for me um, and then I'm going to switch it around. So what we'll do first is we'll go to super elevation, apply shoulder rollover locks, and I'm going to calculate on that shoulder point, that EB point. My high side difference is that 10%, so I'm going to do a 0.1 there. And my low side difference is a 0%. So I'm going to hit apply there, and it actually creates my control line for me. I'm going to fit there to show it in my view. So there it creates my control line, but that's that EP point. Um, and that's gonna that's actually gonna move that EP point up and down. So if I move a station there, it moves my EB point uh, up and down to maintain the rollover lock. So now I maintain the rollover lock, but my problem is I'm moving the point EB up and down, which I don't want. And again, you can see in that curve it moved it up to a 2.4 to maintain my 10% rollover distance. But I don't want to move EB. I actually want to move the EP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the control line that was created for EB and actually apply it to my IP point. And, um, and my reference point, right now the EB is rotating about the inside edge of pavement there. I'm going to take this control line, apply it to the inside edge of pavement, but I'm actually going to have its reference point be the EB point. So, and since I'm going in a different direction, what I'm actually going to have to do is take this control line and mirror it. So to do that, I'm going to create a single control line. This name is going to be IP, because that's the point it's going to control. I'm going to copy it from the EB control that we just created. I'm going to copy the values from the original, and I'm going to mirror 
Um, and my only option here is to mirror all but normal crown. I'm going to need to mirror everything because it's going in the different direction. So I'm going to mirror all but normal crown. Then I'm going to go back later and fix my normal crown points. So I say OK. And now, here's my control line and the cyan color that actually is going to control my EV point. So actually what I can do is I can come in and I can go to my super elevation display list. I'm actually going to delete my EV point now because I don't need it. Hit delete and say yes. And I'm going to assign this IP super point to my IP in the point controls. The point I'm going to control is IP. It's going to be a vertical super. It is going to the section was IP, that's what I named it, and its reference point again is going to be that EB point. That's what it's going to kind of rotate about. That EB is going to stay right there at that level of the center line. As soon as I hit that, I can go now that I've created that and go to a place where I have full super, and I can see now that my EB point isn't moving, um, but my but I do have my rollover lock percentage there. So the last thing I have to do is instead of a normal crown of minus 4%, I need to take my IP point and put it back up at a positive 4%. So what I have to do is just go to each of these points um, in my diagram for that control and switch them back to a positive 4%. So I'm going to hit apply just to display that one control line. And I'm simply going to edit each of these points and make them a positive 4% in the normal crown. So anywhere along here where it is normal crown, I'm changing that from a negative 4% to a positive 4%. Just by running along, hitting the next button. Alright, all right, so we are done now with the right side. So what I can do, just to verify how this is working, I can go to a section where we're in normal crown, so I have my 4% shoulder. I'm transitioning up. Let's go ahead and turn on our, our right side uh, controls. Let's go to a normal crown section here. I'm at 4% shoulder, 2% travel lane. As I step through, um, when I come into a transition there, um, again, I'm, tr I'm rotating about my center line here. I'm going into a curve to the right, so this is going to move down. It's not doing anything until hits that rollover percentage of 10% and then it's starting and then it's rotating down my shoulder. At full super I'm 7.6% and 2.4%. Let's go to our curve to the left and see that when it rotates up it maintains our 0% low side rollover lock. And again those uh, rollover locks were calculated uh, when I initially created them off the EV point, but I just switched which point and applied those two. Alright, so that problem is solved. Now all we have to do is go do the same procedure on the left side.